I made my fans make an army to take down a single overpowered unit. Are my fans going to be able to take down this overpowered man? Let's find out. All right, here we are on the form. I had you guys fill out. So on the form, I had you guys make an army with a max cost of 10,000. You cannot go over it. And the goal of your army is to take down a singular overpowered unit that I have specially made for this video. That's basically the premise. But before we get started, I want to introduce you to the man himself. Slow reveal. There he is. So as you can see, this dude's got wings so he can fly. He's also got this glowing punching glove, which I think does a lot of damage if he punches you, I assume. He's also got this really long claymore sword. Along with that, you guys gave me so many responses to this form that I am going to use a random number generator so everyone has a fair chance of getting into this video. So without further ado, let's get started. Generating 38. This person's name is Polypixel, and they want all Reapers. Oh, and one Hobbit for good luck. His name shall be Harold. Let's see if my boy can take down these four Reapers. Okay, he's going in. I'm putting it in slow motion so he can get a good view of the fight. Okay, he just absolutely body slammed him. Interesting. All right, he's spinning around in circles, dodging all of these attacks very masterfully. Oh, he just won. Uh, all right, yeah. <laughs> sure, I guess. I don't know how he just won, but he did. Generating 176. This submission comes from Mr. Monkey Money, and they want two Reapers, two Thors, and a shitload of bomb throwers. Okay, so unfortunately, I could only give you two bomb throwers. Also, if you notice, I took the wings off this dude because it was extremely hard to follow him around when he was uh, flying everywhere. So I took this dude's wings away, so he's probably actually nerfed quite a bit. So anyway, let's fight! Oh, okay, somehow he just did, like, a super jump in the air. That was kind of crazy. Okay, where is he at? He's on the ground right now, which is a bit unfortunate for him. If he could get up at some point. Okay, okay, hold on. He's swinging his big sword around at these Reapers, and he completely just missed, which was a bit unfortunate. Okay, the Reapers seem to actually be messing him up quite a bit. Oh, never mind. He actually just destroyed him. Oh, okay, and he won. Generating 253. Name, Jack the guy who's addicted to coffee. And you want just as many Thors as you can put. All right, you can get four Thors before you go over the limit. Let's fight. Okay, it looks like the Thors are running in on him. He's masterfully dodged out of the way and, oh, look at that. A jump and a slice. That was beautiful, beautiful boy. Okay, one of the Thors coming in for a hit. Oh, okay, more, more parry and dodging. Some crazy stuff going on. All right, swing him. He just hit the camera. Oh my God, beautiful boy. Generating 118. Name, Tatwer. And their army is two tree giants and the rest will be reapers. Okay, unfortunately, I cannot give you a reaper because that would put you over 500 bucks so you get two tree giants instead. All right, in he goes. Oh my God, immediate hit. He's swinging at the ankles because he's very short. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Took him out at his knees. He's dead. Tree giant swings his big old tree. Oh, and he wins. All right. January 342. This submission comes from Helium. I am a peasant, and their army is one super peasant. If not possible, spam peasants. So as a reminder, the max cost is 10,000. You were a little bit over, so I will just spam peasants instead. All right, so in the end, you got 333 peasants to fight for you. This is gonna be laggy. Okay, let's go, what's going on here? Immediately, a massive pile of dead peasants are piling up. He's actually petrified of them. Look at him, he's just backing up. That's all he can do right now. All he's doing is just backing up. Fight, what are you doing? Oh, that works too, I guess. There he is in the middle, absolutely destroying them. Look at him do crowd control. Just absolutely swept the legs of like 50 dudes. Look at him. They don't even know what's going on. It's literally like a liquid. Like, they're like water. He's somewhere in the middle. I can't even see him. There's so many peasants on him right now, dude. Like, what? where is he? Look at him go. Look at my boy go. Whoa, they just imploded. What is going on right now, actually? Like, what, what am I looking at? Another implosion sends a bunch of people flying and scattered everywhere. I can't really tell who's alive in this pile right now. There's just so many, so many of them. This might be the last two Two peasants alive right now. Oh boy. Oh, well, that dude's dead. All right, one more peasant stance. That's it. It looks like my boy's winding up for the shot. He's got swords everywhere. Oh boy. That seemed a bit overkill. I'm not even sure what just happened, actually. Uh, the victory screen hasn't came up yet, meaning someone's still alive. I'm, uh, oh, nope, not anymore. Generating 410. All right, Ed Sheeran's arms. Let's see what your army is. Three shield bearers, 10 blunderbusses, one flintlock, and three musketeers. Uh, I'm a bit confused here. You are quite a bit under the limit, actually. Like, almost 7,000 under the limit. You could have definitely spent way more, but I will d do as you wish. So here we go. Okay, in the battle, immediately implodes the front lines. All right. Well, that's a bit upsetting for them. Okay, it looks like the musketeers are making a little bit of work. They're kind of keeping them at bay a little bit while the uh, dudes in barrels do stuff. I'm not quite sure who those guys are. Oh my god, he just keeps getting shot backwards. He can't even, like, move forward. Oh, oh, yeah, that's, uh, that really just did not help at all. This dude's being, like, thrown around right now. Just kill him. My god, just kill him. What are you doing with this poor man? Just kill him already! There. 
There you go. You did it. Great, great job. It only took you about a minute. Bring your sword. There you go. And I win. Generating 306. Name, KXJ. And their army is a Chronomancer and Void Manarch and as many peasants as possible. All right, here's your army. The two people you probably really care about are the Chronomancer and the Void Monarch, which are right here, and then there's just a bunch of peasants everywhere. Okay, it looks like there's actually quite a bit of stuff going on right here. What am I even, what am I looking at? Where, who, where is my guy at? Oh, right here, found him. Okay, it kind of looks like he's being bum-rushed by like, I don't even know, 500 guys. I, there's a few explosions going on here and there. I think the Void Monarch is dead, which is a bit unfortunate for these peasants that are getting absolutely destroyed. All that's left is this dude flying in the sky. I'm not quite sure how he's gonna get to him because he uh, can't fly, actually. This dude's just being ragdolled right now. This is kind of... <laughs> this is sad, honestly. This dude just can't- this dude can't even get up. He just keeps getting shot down. This fight's so stupid! Get up! Jump! Do something other than just lay there and keep getting absolutely dogged on by this dude. Alright, I'm gonna take over. I'm taking over. Get up there. Come on. He's on the ground. How am I not hitting this dude? Did I kill him? I, I, I can't hit this dude. I quite literally cannot hit this dude. How am I supposed to kill him? I mean, you guys are gonna win because my guy can't fly. I mean, apparently this is a weakness I overlooked at some point or another. He can't, uh, he can't reach anybody that's flying, which is a bit unfortunate for him because, uh, this guy can fly. Wow, you guys won. Even though I feel like that was a really cheap win, we'll continue the video. This submission is from J Pants. They want as many Zeus's as I can. Five Zeus's for you. Oh, and I made it so my guy can hover. So no more of that stupid crap. All right, so let's see what's going on in this fight here. The Zeus's are absolutely shocking the crap out of my guy. For some reason, my guy is not doing anything about it. Uh, you might want to do something. Wow, this is a very entertaining fight. Oh, I won. Generating 321. This submission comes from Rug Trafficker 665, and they want as many barrel rollers as purchasable with $10,000. 28 barrel rollers is what you get. Let's fight. In goes my guy. The barrel rollers coming in hot on their barrels. Oh, damn. They just exploded. All right. <laughs> this is such a stupid fight. This warp. <laughs> Generating 357. This submission comes in from Gamer Guy, who wants three Monkey Kings, one Reaper, and one Lasso. All right, let's start the battle. So immediately, the guy on the horse rushes in along with the three Monkey Kings. Uh, an implosion just happened of sorts. Oh well, yeah. Okay, so okay, so people are just kind of getting flung around right now. It's a little bit hard to say it, quite exactly what's going on. I think the guy. Okay, the horse is dead. The Monkey Kings are uh, doing their thing. There's just what is uh, what is going on? Okay, let's go in slow motion here. I think the Reaper's dead. All that's left is the three monkey kings now uh no one's really landing a shot here everyone's just kind of flying i think we're just down to one last guy and that's it right there i win January 26 this person goes by the ninja master and they want 20 ninjas immediately my boy goes in rushes the ninja causes a small implosion in the center lots of shurikens being chucked at this poor soul it's all right though my boy will prevail as he's masterfully dodging a lot of them you know oh I think that's the last ninja right there, and he's gonna get absolutely decimated here any second. Any second. Ugh, so just spectacular. Generating 78. All right, Jimmy's mom. You want the maximum of musketeers? And I will do that. 40 musketeers versus my boy. So I place these guys in a semicircle. I wonder if that will have any impact on this fight. What are you doing, dude? Do something other than just sit there. Oh my god, he just got shot literally, I guess, 40 times. You're gonna die if you don't do anything. Swing your sword, idiot. There you go. He's just being lit up right now. Hey, idiot. You wanna fight? Maybe do something other than just sit there? What? 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 How? How did the Musketeers win? Okay, so I'm just gonna do another round, but I put everyone in a big bunch to see if the semicircle actually made a difference or not. Regardless, you guys did beat me fair and square, so this is the end of the video, so please subscribe, comment your ideas, because I do do your ideas, and I will see you in the next video. You, you can leave, I guess, but if you want to see how this battle plays out, you might as well stay. I think I was the reason my boy lost, is because I actually strategically placed these guys down in a semicircle. We're down to the last few. Oh my god. It was because I put them in a semi-circle. I was the one that caused my boy to die.